I thought that Martin Luther was British because his name is Martin Luther. So I think I have to name the century. Is this Martin Luther posts his 95 thesis? That's a German name? It's the most German name? Uh, excuse me, you have a, a famous footballer named Bastian Schweinsteiger. That's like the most German name of all time. It's not Martin Luther. This was in the 14th century. That's wrong. Angela Merkel ends her term. This was in the 21st century. The Teutonic Order was founded. This is the 11th century. Wrong. They didn't, they didn't take it as a wrongness. I'll take it. 11, 11, 11, 12. It was 12. Thank you. Thank you. First German Empire is founded after victory in the Franco-German War. This is in the 19th century. Johannes Gutenberg introduces the printing press to Europe. It's the 16th century. Oh. The bubonic plague was in the 14th century. The Berlin Wall was in the 20th century. The sack of Magdeburg from the Thirty Years' War. It's the 18th century. Wrong. The Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II is excommunicated by Pope Innocent IV. 15th century. Oh, brother. The Battle of Hohenfriedberg. Frederick the Great and his Prussian army defeated an Austri Austrian army under Prince Charles Alexander of Lorraine during the Second Silesian War. That shit. Frederick was like the 1500s, right? But wait, they're using... They look... They're, br they're dressed... The British... The Austrians are dressed like it's the American Revolution. So I'm going to say this was the 18th century. Oh! Boom! Ready or not, here come the boys from the south. Looking like King George III in Hamilton ass. Fuck you. I can do this. I'm, I'm pretty insane at history. I lost to the average, but yeah, only German historians are doing these quizzes. The Great Fire of London? That shit is in the 19th century. Wrong. King John signs the Magna Carta. That shit was in the f fucking 15 or 1300s. I'm going to say the 1300s. Because this shit looks like fucking Robin Hood. So give me 14th century. Wrong. Okay. Kingdom of England won the Battle of Poitiers. That's the 1300s. Look at this fucking art, dude. Look at this new grounds shit. This is the most talented artist in the world. This is the 14th century. The Hundred Years' War is the, is the 1300s. Look at their fucking arms, dude. They're, they're straining so hard to pull back the U. 14th century. Easiest pick of my life. Okay, this is the 20th century. It's a photograph. King Richard III of House York is killed during the Battle of Bosworth Field. I got a question about uh, history. Like, the English history, the Battle of Bosworth Field. What if you're like the guy who lives on Bosworth Farm? Like, are you just watching this happen from your window or something? You leave? Well, I just mean like... You know, there must be battles in English history, whereas, like, you're just, like, chilling on your balcony. <laughs> Maybe not your balcony, but, like, you know, your porch. And then, uh, you know, you see, like, the English and the French army approach, and they happen to meet at your house. I get that you could escape, but, like, it's your house. Anyway, I think this was, this was, like, the 12th century. Wrong. The planet Uranus is discovered. Bro, look at his wife. She's like, get to bed. No, honey, I'm discovering planets. <sighs> Are you going to come to bed tonight? King George III. It's in honor of King George III, then this is the 18th century. 
Thank you, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Brexit. During the Brexit referendum, 51.89% of voters chose to leave the EU. This is the 21st century. Thomas Beckett is assassinated by four knights. This shit looks like when you are beating up a, a peon in Gauntlet Legends. They got, they got a paladin. They got a barbarian. They got a cleric. I don't even know. There must, should be a rogue somewhere back there. They got the whole damn party, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's the 16th century. British Royal Navy defeats the French in the Battle of Trafalgar, 19th century. During the reign of Henry VIII. That shit was like the 1700s. Let me go 18th century. Wrong. Wrong. Sorry, that's the 16th century. 10 centuries of Scottish history. Can I apologize in advance? This shit is the 20th century. This is World War I. Glasgow Cathedral is consecrated in the presence of King David I of Scotland. 14th century. No. Nope. King James VI ascends towards the throne of England as King James I following the death of Elizabeth I. That would be the 17th century. He's cracked. King of Scots Robert the Bruce leads his men to victory in the battle against King Edward II of England during the Battle of Bannockburn. By the way, rip you if you live on Bannockburn. This is Braveheart, which is the 1500s, 16th century. Wrong. This is the 21st century. This was taken with an iPhone. The 93rd Sutherland Highlanders Regiment of Foot, forming a thin red line, successfully stop a Russian cavalry charge during the Battle of Balaclava. What if our guns were also knives? I, I think this looks like the 19th century to me. The Battle of Stirling Bridge. Wait, wait, wasn't, wait William Wallace is Braveheart. This is the 1500s, 16th century. Uh, what the hell? Come on. Scottish engineer James Watt invents the steam engine. He doesn't even look that impressed with himself. Let's say this is the, 18, uh, the 17th, 1700s, 18th century. He's cracked. King James IV of Scotland is killed during the Battle of Flodden. Any I users in the chat? I have no clue. I'm going to go 13th. No, wait. King James the Sixth took over from Elizabeth I. King James IV, let's walk it back a little. Let's say it's 16th century. He's using the process of elimination to endear himself to the nation of Scotland. Higher score for the Scottish quiz than the British quiz? I, did, I didn't know NL was based. During the Battle of Sauchyburn, a group of rebellious, rebellious Scottish nobles under Prince James win a victory. His, James III is killed and his son succeeds him as James IV. This is a trick question. This shit is what we just said. It's, it's got to be the 16th century again. What? How long did these motherfuckers live for? You tell me for King James the Third, that King James the Sixth was two like a, over a one hundred and something year difference. Are you crazy? Ten centuries of Swedish history, bro. We got problems. <laughs> that's that's um. I know this guy. It's not Carolus Linnaeus. What's his name? You know this is Gustav something. He is faded. That is not Louis C.K. <laughs> Gustavus Adolphus, yeah. King Gustavus II Adolphus of Sweden is killed during the Battle of Lutzen, ripped to a true legend. Even after losing their leader, they won a decisive victory over the Holy Roman Empire. Bro, why, honest question, why were they fighting so much? Like, just get over it. Can't you see you love each other? Like, don't you have so much... Sweden versus... Wait, I, I'm losing it. Is in Germany the Holy Roman Empire? Maybe I'm not as EU4 pilled as I used to be. It kind of is, right? Like, part of Germany was in the Holy Roman Empire. 
How is Germany fighting the Holy Roman Empire? I don't get it. Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to say this looks like it's from the 1700s, 18th century. Wrong. The Kalmar Union formed in Sweet Flag, by the way. I'm going to say it's 14th century. Hey, he's cracked. Sweden was recognized as a Catholic archbishopric with a seat in Uppsala. It's when the name Sveireich was officially named for the first time. I don't know, fucking like the 8th century? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, the 10th century? The 11th? The 12th? It was the 12th century, apparently. I don't know why they didn't give me wrong answers to start with, but I'll tell I guess maybe the parameters are only like it's 12th to 21st. Engelbrecht Engelbrechtsen leads a rebellion against Eric of Pomerania, king of the Kalmar Union. It's caused by the numerous offenses of the Danish local bailiffs and heavy taxation. I say it's the 15th century, right after the Kalmar Union started. This bridge was completed. Where does it go? Am I crazy? How do you get to the part where the... Are they not done with it? It goes into a tunnel that goes underground. Okay, because it really it looks like... It kind of looks like you drive on a long bridge and then you're just sort of like nowhere. You just like, you take the bridge and then you turn around or something like that. Anyway. Um, I mean, to me, this looks like a photo from the 21st century, but it could easily be the late 20th. I'm going to say 21st. It just looks like the... It looks like it could be from the early 2000s. Hey! Alfred Nobel invents dynamite. They were chucking that shit all over the American West in the 1800s, so it must have been invented in the 1700s, because it takes some time to... Never mind. King Charles XII of Sweden is killed during the Siege of Frederiksten. The death of the king effectively led to the end of the Great Northern War. They got muskets with bayonets. I'm going to say this is the 18th century. I mean, 1800s, 19th century. Wrong. The city of Stockholm is founded. 13th century. Okay, I'm a genius. Olaf Palm is fatally wounded by a single gunshot while walking home from a cinema with his wife, Elizabeth Palm. This would be the 20th century. Gustav Vasa liberates Stockholm and then they made a boat after him that sunk before it could even get out of the harbor. I'm going to say this was... By the way, these people are pogged. We will never experience pog in our lifetime like this. Look at these two motherfuckers back here. I can make fun... Yeah, they're kids in the picture. They're fucking like 450 years old now. They're losing it, man. Um, I'm going to say this happened in the 1500s, 16th century. I'm, I know everything there is to know about Sweden. Ask me anything. Uh, Malmo. I knew what you were going to ask. You were going to ask, where in Sweden is the most per capita knife crime on an annual basis? And it's Malmo. Hold on. Sweden is winning right now. Look, I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> Any more than I already have, at least. Isn't that your job? Well, in, in some ways, I suppose. I thought we did okay at the history for a guy who's pop culture pilled but happens to listen to Howard's in books, you know, when he falls asleep every night. I thought that was pretty good. Can you name the famous landmarks from these five countries? I could certainly try. Name a, sing a singer from Gothenburg. <laughs> Jens Lechman, come on. 
Yo, I stop with the freebies. Okay, I'm going to start with the United States. That feels easy to me. That's the Statue of Liberty. That's the Lincoln Ma Memorial. That's the Golden Gate Bridge. That shit, the Alamo. And then that is the Peace Arch. That is the Arch of St. Louis. It's the St. Louis Arch. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, now let's go to France. I can do this. We got the Eiffel Tower, Le Tour de Fel. We've got the Louvre. We have Lac de Triomphe. We went through this last time. Can I get some can I get some help on the spelling, please? Arc de Triomphe. Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> Arc du Triomphe, the Triomphe, the Arc du, <laughs> the Arc de Triomphe, the Arc du Triomphe. There we go. <laughs> this is uh, Le, Les Hommes Pensifs, the Thinker, and of course, this is um, an aqueduct. This is a un duct d'aqua. La voiture avec la boisson O. Oh. I don't know what this one's called. It's Roman aqueduct. Okay, whatever. Let's go Germany. I see the, the Brandenburg Gate. I see... Uh, a castle. I see Checkpoint Charlie. I see the Basilica de Saint Germain. I'm <laughs> Listen, okay? I'm genuine I'm not trying to get into trouble. Is this shit the, the Reichstag? Or is it not called that anymore? Is it called something different? Because some history went down. It's called the Reichstag. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'll take that one. Now it's called the Bundestag. Okay. I, I did not know that. But now you're in the United Kingdom. Uh, that shit looked like Buckingham Palace. That shit looked like uh, Westminster Abbey. Elizabeth Tower? How many different names they got for this clock? That shit is the London Eye. I have no idea what that is. That's the Eiffel Tower too. I do see Stonehenge. And then I have no idea what this is. It, it looks like a puddle. I'm going to say that's a bath. Okay, sure. Thanks for the free points. And then uh, in China, okay. We got the Great Wall. We have the Forbidden Palace. We have uh, the Three Gorges Dam. We have Tiananmen Square. Tiananmen Square. And we have the ice cream store. The store that sells the ice. I'm pretty, I'm happy with myself. We got 80 versus 53. We didn't get Neuschwanstein Castle or the Cologne Cathedral or Blackpool Tower or Pont du Gard, or the Temple of Heaven. That's, that's pretty solid, though. Five by five landmarks by century. I don't know about this, but it's a, it's a very nice uh, format for a quiz. The 2000s. We got the Burj Dubai. It's the tallest building in the world. We have the Chicago Bean. This thing's not just called the Bean. Bean, okay. <laughs> we have um, one WTC. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what this is. This is a football stadium. This is called the Birds, the Nest. The Birds Nest. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know how I know that. Maybe I watched the Olympics in 2008, and I could not tell you what this is at all. 
Now, in the 90s, I see the Space Needle dwarfed by the CN Tower, previously the largest freestanding building in the world. We have Christ, the Redeemer, the Sydney Opera House, also known as Inferior Canada Place. I'm just joking. And then Lady. Lady on the Rock. I don't know that, honestly. We have the Eiffel Tower. Statue of Liberty. Cologne Cathedral. Nope. That's not what that one is. Oh, that's the Sagrada Familia. I see the Arc de Triomphe. He got it. De l'Etoile, of course. And Westminster Abbey. I mean, Big Ben. Okay. 1700s? This shit is literally a library. That is just a library. That's, that's George Washington's vacation home. Oh, that's Monticello. Okay. And then th there's Versailles. I mean, um, Buckingham Palace. Okay, never mind. Lucky me. I see the White House. They really did a great job on the White House in the 1700s. I, you got to hand it to them. That looks like a, it's a cool ass building. They blew it out when they built the White House. You ever seen any other houses in the United States from 1700s? Oh, that's right. It got burned down. I forgot about that. <laughs> they had to rebuild it. All right. Never mind. Shit's busted. First White House probably looked horrible. Um, that's the Brandenburg Gate. And to be honest, you have no idea what that is. I have no clue. Could not tell you. <laughs> you know what this is? Staircase to the palace. Staircase to the palace. It honestly, would have been my guess too. And then some buildings from the 1600s. I see the Taj Mahal. I see St. Paul's Cathedral in London, England. Nope. Never mind. That's Notre Dame. Notre Dame. No. <laughs> that's the, that's the, the, the... Yeah, this, this is the Sagrada Familia. This, I think this is St. Peter's Basilica, because I read it in chat. That's the Shanghai Tower or something like that. That's Shanghai Tower. Whoa! See, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I just typed in Great Wall of China. What the hell is, is this? Okay, now I don't know about that. What is this? Probably Russian something. That's not the Great Wall of China? No, I've been there. It looks like it kind of connects to the Great Wall of China. It seems like it's in Russia. This shit is literally just a house. That's a house in Vancouver. Oh, I saw that in England. This is Baker Street Sherlock's house. I don't know it. Okay, we missed Little Mermaid, Sagrada Familia, Monticello, St. Peter's Basilica, the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, and Patala Palace. I would not have known that, honestly. Obviously, that was Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, that's a Little Mermaid. She's, uh, she's little. You want to go crazy with this one? Five by five actresses? I know that lady. And She's from the the musical. She is from Mamma Mia. Wait, are you talking about her? Yeah. Oh, that's the sound of music. That's what happens. And then, right under that, that's Mary Poppins. Right under that, here's a deep cut. That's the damn Princess Diaries. Right under that, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I don't that know what that is. A robot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know those. The other lady is like. Halle Berry, we got Catwoman. We got Die devil Another wears Day. Prada. We do have The Devil Wears Prada over there. We got um, X3, The Last Stand. Excuse me, X2, X Men. Oh my God. X Men, The Last. Jurassic Park. Where? Right there. That is not Jurassic Park. She's wearing the Jurassic Park hat. That's out of Africa. 
What the heck? What the hell? I think Halle Berry was in Robots. She was in Monsters Ball. Speed. That's speed. That is speed. You know what's above it? No, she's dancing it's the Orange heat. Justice. She is Orange Justicing. You know this one? It's Miss Congeniality. How am I supposed to know that? You know, you've seen this one. It's Gravity. Oh. You know this one? Football manager. The Blind Side. Crispin Glover in Cabinets of Curiosity. I was watching the blind. I painted the blind side. Sorry, <laughs> she had to be here. I guess. Um, so we've got Pretty Woman. I think right below that we've got Erin Brockovich. I've seen this. She's at Notting Hill. Yeah. Pretty Woman. This is Erin Brockovich. That gotta be Queen Elizabeth one. That is the Iron Lady about Margaret Thatcher. No. Queen Elizabeth the first. You ever yeah. see Queen Elizabeth the first? I don't know. Does she look like that? She's got a bigger forehead than I do. <laughs> she was from like the the 1600s. Julia Roberts, older Julia Roberts eating gelato, discovering herself in Italy. I don't know this movie. I'm gonna call it. Away with Italy. Away with Italy, starring Julia Roberts. Oh, that's Eat, Pray, Love. Okay. I don't know the other one. Maybe it's Steel Magnolias. Maybe that's... Yeah, okay. Any, anytime you see a movie that looks like it's from the 1980s and there's a woman in it, just guess Steel Magnolias. It's right every time. Okay, Meryl Streep. We got Kramer versus Kramer. She's very exhausted here. They're, they're, that's not even Meryl that Streep. Be that's, like Ju a, that's Julianne Moore. That gotta be like a Alien. I'll be honest. I just don't know the other two. Can you type Alien? It's not Alien. I can tell you. Can you type Aliens? It's so, that's Sophie's <laughs> choice. She's choosing. And this is Mamma Mia. I thought that's what you meant when you said she's the girl from the musical. Eat, Pray, Love, Despicable Me, Victor, Victoria. I watched Despicable Me. I don't remember her. You don't remember her? No. It, it looks like maybe that's Gru's mom. I think she needs to see somebody with that <laughs> chin. She's going to kill somebody. That is Gru's there. mom, apparently. Okay. Do, do the quiz Hot Salads Around the World. Okay, I'll Dude. take a look at it. Um, um, no quizzes found matching hot salads. Salad? No quizzes found matching hot salad. Pick a salad. Soup sandwich salad. Salad bar. Did you make it up? Oh, my oh. God. Oh. I'm going to freak out the delivery guy. No, don't do it. He's taking a photo. <laughs> oh, man. No, it's okay. How about name the salad? Blue logos, celebrities eating salad. Can you name the celebrities that are eating a salad? What a strange quiz. There's a lot of freaks on this website, quite frankly. That's Justin Timberlake eating a roasted vegetable salad. That's Uma Thurman. Honestly, it doesn't look like she's eating a salad, quite frankly. It looks like she has a whole entree plate there, which is fine. I'm just saying it betrays the premise of the quiz. That shit is Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Why does this photo look like, like such a creep shot, man? He's just chilling. He's just eating his lunch. This is Reese Witherspoon and her daughter. They're eating some kind of kale salad. This is Ludacris. Chris Luda Bridges and Dwayne The Rock Johnson eating a salad on the set of the Fast and the Furious movies. This is Woody Harrelson. <laughs> what, something's just very funny about this image. You're one of the Kardashians. I think you're Courtney Kardashian. I'm insane. You're... Um, Amelia Clark. You're British, for sure. I don't know who this is. I'm just going to be honest with you. Wait, no, I do. Is this, um, she's a model? Is this uh, 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 Gigi Hadid? Is this, uh... <laughs> is Miranda Kerr? Okay, I don't, I don't know her, I think. Bro, this shit should not be on the internet. This dude is literally just minding his own business. <laughs> it's, it's just... 
I don't know who this is, though. Who is this? <laughs> what is this quiz, man? It's freaking me out. You are Octavia Spencer. That's Cameron Diaz. Eating some kind of succotash. Shit is James Franco. <laughs> is, he, is he in the hospital? <laughs> what is this? What the hell is he eating, dude? What's on that sandwich? Is it a big block of cheese or something? That shit looks horrendous. That's Heidi Klum. That's either Selena Gomez or Lana Del Rey. It's Selena Gomez. This shit is Chris Evans. Look, that's Charlie Sheen. Possibly taking the most ambitious bite of a salad I've ever seen. The man is wearing a, a suit, tie, and a baseball hat with a logo on it. He's taking a comical bite of salad. Like, what is this? Is Drake? Probably his Facebook profile photo. This is Jon Stewart eating a salad. This is Jennifer Lopez eating a salad. She is Miley Cyrus eating a salad. With some ketchup. You're Sienna Miller eating a salad. I'm gonna be honest, that shit looks good as hell. I don't know who you are though. Apparently, that is not Sienna Miller. It's a weird bowl. It's definitely a weird bowl. I don't don't get me started on this girl right here. I got a lot to say. I got a bone to pick with her for sure. This is Megan Mullally eating a salad. I don't know who you are. This is Aziz Ansari eating a lot of things, one of which is a salad. Okay. It's Miranda Kerr, average score 54%. <laughs> James Argent? I don't even know who the hell that is. This guy is just minding his own damn business. This quiz should be taken down from the website immediately. I do not know who this man is. I am looking at a stranger eating a salad on the beach. Maybe this is the guy who made the quiz. I don't know. This is Daphne Oz. I have no idea who you are, quite frankly. And this is Lisa Vanderpump. Equally have no idea who you are. Plus, you brought your damn dog into the restaurant, I'm noticing now. I'm not anti-dog. I think dogs should be allowed in, like, stores, maybe. Maybe at cafes and stuff like that. But a sit-down restaurant like this, is a, it's just a little much. I'd be okay with... Oh, she owns the restaurant? Oh, never mind. Okay. Celebrities eating salad. How about that? No, I don't... We don't need to identify... I want to see celebrities doing things. Celebrities on stairs. <laughs> this is Al Pacino. Is he okay? He doesn't look okay. He's not even holding the railing. He's got a... He's got a, a marker with no cap on it. He doesn't... Just doesn't look right, man. That's Jerry Seinfeld on the stairs. It's Walt Disney on the stairs. I don't know who you are. You're too old for me to know. This is Bryce Dallas Howard on the stairs. This is Jessica Chastain on the stairs. This is Eva Green on the stairs. It's Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson uh, wondering... If you're going to keep it down. I thought I told you to keep it down. I thought you were going to turn the music off. This is Emma Watson on the stairs. This is James Corden falling down the stairs catastrophically, looking like he's going to suffer a grievous injury. <laughs> he's not even trying to stop himself. It lo he looks like he is moving fast, man. He is going. He lost a damn shoe. He's this is the world's longest staircase. He's going down. This is uh, like Bill Murray, George Clooney. Matt Damon, John Goodman, and another guy walking down the stairs. This is Marilyn Monroe standing on the stairs. This is um, 
definitely a nightmare blunt rotation for sure. This should, this shit would do permanent damage to my psyche. I think if I happen to be on the other end of the staircase, this is Boris Johnson and Jaden and Will Smith. This is John Cusack fucking the stairs, looking pensive. It's Taylor Swift. That's Selena Gomez. That's Elijah Wood and Martin Freeman on the stairs. That's Russell Brand. He's on the stairs. You only get one shot at this, okay? I'm just going to say this is Chris Pratt. Oh, it would have been sick. That would have been, that would have been dynamite, man. It's Peter Dinklage. Excuse me. Uh, could you take this with a, a better potato, please? How am I supposed to know who the hell this is? It looks like a painting from the 1300s. This is Kate Blanchett on the stairs. This is Kyle McLaughlin. What the? What are those, dude? It's Kyle McLaughlin. Kyle McLaughlin. This shit is Victoria Beckham on the stairs. That is Sebastian Stan. He's on the stairs. It's Jennifer Aniston on the stairs. I'm starting to think these might be fetish quizzes. <laughs> That's Joe Biden on the stairs. I don't know. Okay, I don't know who you are. Kirk Douglas on the stairs. True, true. We only beat the average by a little on this one. That one, that one kind of stung. Hayden Panettiere. It, it, the name's so nice, it rhymes with the premise. That's Michael Palin, Sarah's husband, I guess. Okay. Celebrities when they served in the military. I'm going to start you right there. I have no idea. I have no idea who this is. It, I, I don't know. So I have no clue. Next. She is Elvis. You're one of those guys. Clark Gable. That's Drew Carey. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Again, could you take this with a better camera, please? I, I couldn't possibly tell you who this is. That's Dave Franco. I don't know who this is. I, don't, I can't see it. That's Arnold. Schwartz and... Schwartz and... Schwartz and... There we go. That is... Andre Brower. That is... I don't know. That's Forrest Whitaker. I could see that. It's aggressively British. Could you be Michael Palin? <laughs> I guess. Are you, are you... Wait, are you Alec Guinness? I, I see a little, I see a little silhouette of a Jedi in there. I think that's Alec Guinness, man. This is Gregory Peck. This is the Humphrey Bogart. This is Jimmy Stewart. I don't know old Hollywood, man. Garbo. Davis. I don't know who you are. I know you. You're Warren Beatty. What? Is this Wee Man? Is this John Mulaney? John Mulaney? I, I was thinking the same thing. I think it's just John Mulaney, man. That's Walt Disney. This dude legit has a 4% body fat right now. He's shredded. That's Walt Disney. <laughs> Dude, that's Walt Disney. His ass is Walt Disney 100%. 
There's Gal Gadot. Sorry, there's Gal Gadot. The the God the God Gadot Gadot There we go. That's Adam Driver. What a horrendous photo, man. That's got to be Neil Patrick Harris. Really? Are you Ben Foster? <laughs> Who is that? That's Neil Patrick Harris, dude. It's Gordon. It is Gordon. I can totally see Gordon Ramsay in this. Yeah, okay. Is it not possible? Something in my head just makes me want to say James Cagney. I don't know where it came from. Are you Milton Berle? Something about it just, just spoke to me. Could not tell you. I'm going to say this is Neil Patrick Harris. That's Willem Dafoe. This, the timeline does not add up, but I'm pretty sure that's Willem Dafoe. <laughs> it's Warren Beatty. I'm sorry, I got nothing. Are you Pam Greer? I have no clue. Are you um, George Burns? I'm I'm out, man. That's Gene Hackman. That's so hard. Like I see it now. That's so hard to see. That's tough, man. Mel Brooks, almost impossible to to see the face there. Tom Tom Selleck, I can see. I would never in a million years have said iced tea for this. Are you kidding me? Didn't this guy write a song called Cop Killer? I don't think this is iced tea, man. I'm I think I I think this is Andre Brower, also known as as Holt from Brooklyn Nine Nine. I thought that was like an ice cold guess. I would have I would have locked it and doubled it. I do not think this is iced tea. James Doohan. Okay, that's Scotty from Star Trek. That's B. Arthur. That's Chuck Norris. I can see it. Sir Christopher Lee. Yeah, okay, I can see. I can see Saruman in there. David Niven. Is this the guy who wrote Ringworld? Steve McQueen. <laughs> we all said it was Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I dude, he looks a lot like Gordon Ramsay. I still think this might this quiz might be wrong. Yogi Berra, okay. That's Sean Connery. I can see that. Hugh Hefner, I I can see that as well. That's Henry Fonda, Lee Marvin, Robin Quivers, John Ford. Aren't you the dude who shot Jesse James? And Jimi Hendrix. Looking pretty cool, I gotta say. Who's that with John Voight? Celebrities? I don't want us to do celebrities at the beach, man. It's, it's creepy enough. Let's do celebrities playing chess. Come on, man. Like, listen. I thought we were doing... I thought we were taking this seriously. That's Ray Charles. That's Bob Dylan. Let's, let's look at Bob Dylan's opening here. I got to be honest, it looks like total dog shit. What is going on with, with his pawn position here? He's come, you tell me a Bob Dylan opened with like uh, the, the grob or something? What is this? You, you tell me he opened uh, with fucking B5, B4? Not a good chess player, but he's thinking his way through. You got to respect that. He hasn't developed any of his pieces. What a disaster. It's Bob Dylan.
I don't know who this is. They're, they're playing red versus white, and he's getting his ass beat. That is Marlon Brando. You're absolutely right. These guys are playing chess with candles. I don't know who you are. Are you Milton Berle? Are you Yogi Berra? Are you, are you Walter Matthau? I thought I saw some Walter Matthau in there. It's Dizzy Gillespie. It's Charlie Chaplin, covered in spaghetti. It's David Bowie. So this one I do not know. He knows what he's doing, though. Check that he's castled. He's got his rooks doubled up. He's playing on a tournament board with a clock. Is Ice-T? <laughs> it's worth a shot. <laughs> old Catherine Hepburn whatever Greta Garbo I don't know Betty Davis that's Leonard Nimoy he had the haircut just normally they, that wasn't like a wig they couldn't let the man just have like a normal haircut when he's not when he's not filming that's Neil Diamond gonna be honest I don't know who you are it's quite a modern chess set though very cool looking very Swedish it's John Wayne and that other guy who I think is Dean Martin. What did I tell you? It's Rami Malek and J.J. Abrams. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. My man is looking at his phone. That's cheating, just for the record. This is Will Smith. Will Sith. It's Gary Oldman. That's Jurgen Klopp, not J.J. Abrams. My bad, my bad. This is that British guy, Stephen. Stephen. His name is Stephen. He's a British guy. He's very tall. His name is Stephen. 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 His name is Stephen. Stephen Fry. You're right. I did a glance. Oh, that's Mr. Gregory Peck on the world's smallest chess set. That shit is like, uh, James Dean? I don't know your ass. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Because they're playing chess on top of a damn wheelchair. That's James Dean? The chessboard is too small, brother. Could not tell you. Too old. That's... That's Sergei Karyakin. Oh, you're right, it is Peter Thiel. That's Arnold. Ar what, why is Arnold playing in a simul? These kids are going to beat his ass. I'm, I'm not trying to doubt Arnold Schwarzenegger, but this is like the kind of thing you do when you're like, like good at chess. Plus, I'm looking at this, this motherfucker's about to get en passant He's going he's gonna to be like, ah! You can't take all, you, you can't take my pawn like that. That's I don't know what that is. That's Scottish Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who said you could take my pawn? It's Christopher Walken and Robin Williams. Okay, that's Marlon Brando. I'll give you that one. I don't even want to know who these old people are. To be honest with you, I'm moving on. How about celebrities hugging? That's not weird. Paparazzi's pretty cool, I think. These are the friends. That's Courtney Cox Arquette. This shit is Heath Ledger and um, Kate Hudson. That's Drew Barrymore. They're so crazy. Cameron Diaz. That's Orlando Bloom and Charlize Theron. Pretending they recognize each other. That's Billy Crystal, Robin Williams, and Whoopi Goldberg. It's Jamie Foxx and Halle Berry. It's Post Malone and Billy Eilish. Zac Efron and... Zac Efron and... What's her... Ashley Tisdale, that's it. It's Chris Pratt and Anna Faris. It's Matthew McConaughey and Timothy Chalamet. That's... Blake Lively and another person. 
Amber Tamblin. That's Elton John and, and Bono. <laughs> but this is really just two Elton Johns. It's a great photo. That's Prince William and Kate Middleton. He's cracked. Sandra Bullock and Regina Spencer. He's Regina King. This is Jennifer Lawrence, Liam Hemsworth, and PETA. Whoever PETA is. As Aubrey Plaza and Amy Poehler. That is Raven Simone and Ashton Kutcher. That's Beyonce? <laughs> I had no idea. Bro, what was Tom Cruise doing with his hair back then? This is definitely, by the way, two guys who are trying to, like, out handshake each other. This is, this started as a cordial handshake, and then it became a fist lock, and then it became, look at Will Smith's grip on his damn shoulder, dude. He's, like, he's going white-knuckled, and then Tom Cruise has got the kung fu grip here, and they're just good. If, if nobody gets in the middle of this, we're going to end up collapsing into a machismo super collider. Do the Tom Cruise bit? It's the same bit every time. It's just... <laughs> I can picture Tom Cruise going, yes! Will Smith! <laughs> and Tom Cruise is going... <laughs> <laughs> and Will Smith's going, ha <laughs> ha, Tom, ha <laughs> ha, fancy seeing you here, Will, ha <laughs> ha, it's, anyway, you get the idea, uh, uh, this is Will Smith and Tom Cruise, <clears throat> it's Matt Damon and George Clooney, Samuel L. Jackson and Spike Lee, Giselle Bunchin and the lady. Heidi Klum. <laughs> Didn't recognize her out of her worm costume. Ah, from the peak of culture, Carmen Electra and Jessica Simpson. They were on top of the world. And what a world it was. Selena Gomez and a lady. It's Julia Michaels. That's Ava Longoria and the girl from Scandal who was named Carrie Washington. It's Elvis Presley and Sophia Loren. I'm cracked. I'm insane. I know everything there is to know about celebrities hugging each other. If, if celebrities are embracing, I can name one of the two, without a doubt. How about celebrities and limos? And this could be our last. This is a scary one for me. This is uh, Jennifer Lopez. It's Paul Newman. That's the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> it's Queen Elizabeth II. Oops. As Elvis. Elvis. Presley. What? Elvis? Elvis. Oh, he's just trying to load the next image. Okay, I'm going to guess this is Hayden Panettiere. That's Andy Warhol. That was scary. This is Emma Watson. Who, what kind of creep is taking these photos? Just let him get out of the car. That's Nancy Reagan and some guy. It's Chris Rock. It's Adam Driver. It's Beyonce and Chris Brown. It's, it's just Chris Brown and Rihanna. It's, and who's taking these photos, man? Let them get situated when they get out of the car. It's, I believe this is Richard Gere being arrested for having the worst haircut of all time. <laughs> Who is this? 
This has got to be like a radio host or something. I have no idea who this guy is. I have no clue. That is Steve Van Zandt. Now I know who he is. You're right. This is iCarly, who is named Miranda Cosgrove. I knew that. That's Cher. Shouldn't be shaking people's hands from the limo. Oh, Harrison Ford, he's going off, dude. Somebody stop him. It looks like the guy behind him is like, Mr. Ford, Mr. Ford, if you throw those deadly weapons, I'm going to shoot you in the head with these fireworks. That's not Harrison Ford. What are you talking about? Watch this. You ready for this? Harrison Ford. That shit, that fucker is Harrison Ford in the damn flesh. That's Marilyn Monroe. You're Johnny Rodden. You're DJ Qualls. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Oh, you're right. It's Rod Stewart. I should have known that one. It's a damn Tom Hanks right here. It's Hugh Jackman. This is not fair. He's literally driving Professor Xavier around in a limo in the movie Logan. This is not like a candid shot. This is from a movie. Um, this shit is creepy as hell. That is Jennifer Lawrence, though. <laughs> this is like... Okay, uh, I don't know. I'm going to say this one is... Um, I'm going to say this is K Jansen. Just taking a stab at it. It'll be Barack Obama. Okay. <laughs> you bet. All right. I give up on that one. That, that's not Steve Avance. That's James Gandolfini. That's Tony Soprano, man. Tony Soprano, after they gave him the gabagool. They gave me the gabagool. Bad. It does look like he's saying, oh, what's up? All right, Kate, are you, ready? are you ready to stream? That's the Beatles. I would like to think that I would have been able to get that one. If I'd been given the chance. Probably would have gotten this one, too, honestly. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian West. What are you going to play, Kate? What are you going to play? Harrison Ford squaring up. Listen, you don't, have, it's not like, you don't have to be embarrassed about it, but just show yourself in chat. Who in chat said, this is not Harrison Ford? I got to ask who you thought this was. Look, at it's Han Solo, dude. <laughs> <It's iced tea. laughs> POV, you just told Buzz Aldrin he didn't land on the moon. POV, you are corn pop, circa 1921. 